Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Weathers, but I am dressed up like my favorite animal. Can you tell what it is? These are my moose jammies. So I'm dressed up like a moose because moose are my favorite animals of all time. I love moose. And today, our lesson is about animals. So I wanted to show you my favorite animal. Now, along with our lesson, it's Monday of week one of our lesson packet that we just sent out. It, one of the activities is to find 10 animals in your house, stuffed animals or other animals, and to count them and to put them in order from tallest to shortest. So I did that and I was able to do it with moose because I have so many moose in my house. Okay, so I start off with this moose and see him, there's, he, there's the top of him and there's all the way down to the bottom of him. He's a big, tall moose from feet up to his head. So he's my tallest moose. Then next to him is one of my stuffed moose that's a pillow, my pillow moosey. And he's, he's big but not nearly as big as the big, tall moosey up there. Whoa. He's more big around. Then I have my lovey-dovey mooseys. See them next to each other? Almost like they're hugging. And my bulletin board moose next to him. Then I've got my metal moose right there. He's all different kinds of pieces of metal. And then I've got a bunch of other little stuffed animal guys. Some of them have shirts, some of them have red and green antlers and then we get down to my very smallest moose and he's oh there's Jesus back there in the in the background Jesus and the cross but you see the little moose in here and he's in a boat with his best friend bear that's my littlest moose so those are my 10 animals that I collected from tallest to shortest Okay, before we read our book, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please be with us as we learn more about so many animals that you have created. Help us to see that you have made all of us and you have saved all of us. Please bless our learning as we, as we are distant but we're still present. We are virtual, but we are still connected. Help us to be brave when we're scared, strong when we are weak, and calm when we are worried. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Remember how we talked about you can pray anywhere? Well, you can even pray in a moose costume. And Jesus still hears us. He's still listening. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to put down the moose costume. He's getting very hot. Okay, but it's all right. He's still here. Okay, our first book is written by a man named Eric Carl, and it's called From Head to Toe. So we're gonna get to do some of the things that we're gonna see if other animals can do them just like we can do them. So first of all, see if you can touch the top of your head and then bend way down and touch your toes. Can you do it? I bet you can. And see, there's a boy. And he's touching his head from head to toe. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? And the girl says, I can do it. Can you do it? Turn your head from side to side. Here we go. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? And see, there's the boy, he's bending his neck. Can you bend your neck from side to side that way? I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? And see, there she goes, she can do it. Can you do it? Shoulders up, shoulders down, shoulders up, shoulders down. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I bet all of you can. Wave your arms. He says, I can do it. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? There she goes. She can do it. Can you do it? Clap, clap, clap. I am a gorilla and I can thump my chest. Can you do it? That boy can do it. Thump your chest. Oh, makes a good sound too when you make a noise with it. I am a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do it? She can do it. Can you do it? I'll try it. Oh, I'm doing it, but you can't see it. I am a crocodile and I can wiggle my hips. Can you do it? He says, I can do it. Can you wiggle your hips? I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? She says, I can do it. See, there she is. She gets down on her right knee and you could get down on both knees or you could get down on your left knee. All right. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? Oh, that's a good one. I can do it. And you can even make a donkey sound with it. E -ah. That's a fun one. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I'm stomping my feet. Can't hear it very good, but I can, I can do it. Can you do it? And here's the last one. He says, I am I, and I can wiggle my toes. Can you do it? And the parrot says, I can do it. I can do it. I bet you can do it too. So that's Eric Carl from Head to Toe. Now I have another book that tells us a lot about a lot of different animals. And some of them are the biggest, the strongest, 
the fastest, that's what it says on there, and all kinds of other ists, biggest, strongest, fastest, by Steve Jenkins. Animals all around are all around us. They crawl, walk, run, hop, swim, and fly. Some animals are too small to see without a microscope. Others, like the blue whale, are bigger than a house. There are animals that move as fast as a car and animals that would need half an hour to cross a room. Here are some of the biggest and smallest, fastest and slowest, strongest and longest animals. They are the record holders of the animal world. Okay. The African elephant is the biggest land animal. The largest ele elephant ever measured was more than 13 feet tall and weighed 22,000 pounds. An African elephant eats over 300 pounds of grass or leaves every day. Remember when we learned about carnivores and herbivores? Well, we, we learned that an elephant is definitely an herbivore and he can eat, he or she can eat 300 pounds of grass and leaves a day. That's a lot. The strongest animal for its size is the ant. An ant can carry five times its own weight. A strong man can only carry about what, it, what he weighs, about as much as he does. So here's a, little, here's a little graph and it shows an ant and he's carrying five ants but then there's a man and he's only carrying one man. And the ant is very strong for its size. The tallest animal is, yes, a giraffe. Male giraffes grow as tall as 19 feet. The females are a little shorter. With their great height and long flexible necks, Giraffes can eat leaves that other grazing animals cannot reach. So they can get some of the best leaves because they can reach up so high. The blue whale is the biggest animal. And see, there he is. He's all the way across the book. And we can't even get his tail, so we got to turn the page to find his tail. He's the biggest animal that has ever lived. A blue whale can grow to be 110 feet long and weigh over 168 tons. That's as much as 20 elephants. A blue whale weighs as, weighs as much as 20 elephants. Even the biggest dinosaur was smaller than a blue whale. Okay, take a look at this guy. He's called the Etruscan shrew, the world's smallest mammal. Now he's not the world's smallest animal, but he is the world's smallest mammal. He could sleep in a teaspoon. It says from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail, this shrew is only two and a half inches long. It weighs about as much as a ping pong ball. A ping pong ball, that's not very, that doesn't weigh very much. And here's a ruler. If you have a ruler at home, it is really fun to measure different things. Kind of hard to measure animals because they tend to move. But here is, there's a one and there's a two and then halfway in between is two and a half. So uh, that shrew is two and a half inches long and that even includes its tail. And it said that it could fit in a spoon. So you can see that the spoon is about two and a half inches long. And that's how that, that shrew would fit right in there. The smallest bird is the bee hummingbird. 
The bee hummingbird is an acrobatic flyer that is only three inches long. It weighs one thirtieth of an ounce, less than a dime. It only weighs as much as a dime. That's teeny, That's not, that does not weigh very much at all. Okay, you see these things, these long tendrils coming out? That's a sun jellyfish. The sun jellyfish is the world's longest animal. Sun jellyfish have tentacles over 200 feet long. They drag these poisonous tentacles filaments through the water to stun fish, which they then catch and eat. Oh, look at the sky. The largest kind of spider is the bird spider. The bird spider measures almost a foot across and has a poisonous bite. It spins a very strong web to trap the birds and large insects it eats. So if we get out our, our ruler again, that spider is that big. Oh my. I don't think I would ever have to get worry about getting bit by that spider because if I saw a spider that big, I'd be out of there real quick like. The cheetah can run faster than any other animal. A cheetah can reach speeds of over 60 miles an hour, but only a few hundred feet. When it chases another fast animal, such as an antelope, the cheetah must catch it quickly or it gets away. The electric eel gives the strongest shock of any animal. An electric eel can give a shock of up to 650 volts, over five times the voltage needed to light a standard household light bulb. That is enough electricity to give a serious shock to a horse or another large animal. Mm, he's pretty. The land snail is one of the slowest animals. Some snails can move only eight inches in a minute. At that speed, the snail would need five and a half days to travel one mile. Fortunately, the snail with its hard shell does not need to run away from danger. Cause God made him, he can just, his shell protects him, doesn't he? There are many kinds of large snakes, but the anaconda is the biggest. Anacondas can grow to be over 35 feet long and weigh 400 pounds. They wait in trees and drop onto their prey. A hungry anaconda can swallow a whole deer or goat. Yuck. The flea is very small, but it is the world's best jumper. The flea is only, oops, sorry. The flea is only one sixteenth of an inch tall, but it can jump eight inches into the air. That's about 130 times its own height. If a five and a half foot tall woman could jump as well as a flea, she could leap to the top of a 65 story building. Whew, that's a high jumper. And here's our last one. The Galapagos tur tortoise lives longer than any other animal. Oops, sorry, again. Galapagos tortoises can live to be over 150 years old, about twice as long as the average person can expect to live. So that is some of the biggest, strongest, fastest animals. And I'm so glad you joined us. Hope you have a great day. And I hope you can find some of the wonderful creatures that God has made for us. Bye.